Hello and welcome to Evans Halshaw TV. In this video, we're going to show you how to refill your car's washer fluid, which is also known as screen wash. Before you get started, here's what you'll need. Washer fluid and a funnel. We also recommend having an old rag or towel nearby, just in case you spill some washer fluid during the process. To get started, you'll first need to access your vehicle's engine bay, which can be done by popping the bonnet. The handle to pop the bonnet is commonly found in your car's footwell, but if you're struggling to find it, then we advise reading the manual. Once the handle's been pulled, you'll be able to release the bonnet from its catch and access the engine bay. Looking at the engine bay, you'll need to locate your vehicle's wash of fluid reservoir. Typically, the reservoir will have a blue, black or translucent cap on it and is usually identified by an icon of a windscreen having some water spraying onto it. If you're struggling to find the cap, then we suggest looking at your car's manual since it will be able to point you in the right direction. Once you've located the reservoir, you can pull off its cap. It's worth noting, most screen wash caps simply pull off as opposed to unscrewing. With the cap removed, you can begin filling up the reservoir. If you're not confident with pouring, you can use a funnel to help here. Most vehicles tend to have a semi-transparent tube, so you can see when it's nearly full. There will also be an audible change as the reservoir gets full, kind of like when you fill a glass with water and the sound changes as it comes to the brim. Once the reservoir is full, you can mop up any spills if you like, although, as it's a fluid designed for cleaning, mopping up is not as important as with some more hazardous fluids found in the engine bay. Now you can securely replace a reservoir cap and close the bonnet. Pro tip, there are different screen washes available depending on the type of climate you drive in. So if you're driving in winter, we suggest looking for a washer fluid that won't freeze up in sub-zero temperatures. It's also worth noting you can choose between concentrated mixtures and ready-made fluids. Bottles of concentrated washer fluid tend to last longer since you control the mixture to water ratio, kind of like when you buy a bottle of squash from the supermarket. However, ready-made fluids are more convenient since you don't need to worry about manually mixing anything. If this video has helped you, then please subscribe to our channel and remember to click the bell as well. For more helpful advice and guides, please take a look at our other videos or visit our website. And remember, if you need help maintaining your car because you don't have time to, or you don't feel comfortable, then your nearest Evans Shaw retailer will be more than happy to assist. Thank you for watching.